Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. As I had mentioned in the last class, that we would be starting linear graph. Yes, sir. A, a line graph consists of bits of line segments and continuous continuously. Sometimes the graph may be a whole unbroken line. Such type of graph is called as a linear graph. I said I would be telling. The contribution of rain discards. One of yes, the sir. mathematician as well as a philosopher. You confirm me whether you are able to hear the audio of this video. It is clear, sir. Yes, sir. You can hear, sir. Okay. Okay. You can hear. Rainy discards. No sir, I can't hear. No sir, we can, cannot hear. You are unable to hear. Yes sir. No sir, yes, sir. sir the voice of video is not coming. Okay, that means I have to share you the video itself. Let me try with this. Sir, we can hear a uh, voice. Sir, we can hear you. You can hear me. Yes sir. The thing is. You should hear this video also. If I open this, is the video visible? No, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It no is sir. visible, sir. Video is visible. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Video is not visible, sir. Video is not visible, sir. How to find this now? Any idea? Mm -hmm. There is a bus a pest around a video on the sir. Share, sir, share screen, sir, and with share screen with audio, sir. There's an option, sir. There is the option, man. Or, sir, you need the uh, audio from device, sir. And not devices from outside world. I am unable to find it out. Sorry, we can't hear your voice. Sir, you are not, not audible. Yes, sir. You uh, are not suppose audible, if, sir. I, if I share this uh, browser, can it be... Can't... Sir, is it uploaded in YouTube, sir? Yeah, it is there in YouTube. Sir, now it is coming, sir. Yes. Audio? Yes, sir. Now we can see, sir. Yes, sir. Now we can see the video. So we are unable to hear the voice. So we can't. Yes. Hear. 
Sir is not speaking. Sir, we can't hear. How to make the sound? Sir, keep that volume for you. Sir, audio in the YouTube is less, sir. Audio I have reduced in that. There is an option to share browser. Now this browser you were able to see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir we can. And his interest in. Uh, yes, sir. No. yes, sir. We can see the browser. He became. Sound is there. The decision that his real destiny in life was to pursue true wisdom and science. Back in France, the young Descartes soon realized the key to philosophy was all its vagueness was to foundations on the simple facts of math. To realize his yes, sir. furthermore, yes, sir. the highly conservative Catholic Increase the volumes. to a more liberal society in the Netherlands, in which Descartes would spend the majority of his adult life and where he achieved the goals of merging geometry and algebra. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the year 1637, he published his mathematical and philosophical book called Discourse de la Methode, or Discourse on Method. One part of the book in particular, La Geometre, is today seen as a huge step forward in the history of math. Going after early movements, seeing to use symbols and expressions in mathematics, La Geometre, gave us what has become widely known as the standard for algebraic notation, which uses lowercase a, b, and c for known values, and x, y, and z for unknown values. It was the first book that could resemble a modern algebra textbook, using symbols we know and love today. Cartesian coordinates. In La Geometre, Descartes first claimed that every point in two dimensions can be interpreted by two numbers on a plane with one value giving the point's horizontal location and another value the vertical location. This has become known today as Cartesian coordinates, a huge staple in modern math. He used perpendicular lines or axes crossing at a point called the origin to measure the horizontal X and vertical Y locations, both having positive and negative values, therefore dividing the plane into four quadrants. An equation can be visualized on the plane by pot plotting on it the solution set for of the equation. For example, the simple equation y equals x yields a straight line connecting together the points 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, etc. The equation y equals 2x gives us a line with steeper slope connecting points 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, etc. More complex equations involving x, 2, x3 etc plot many different types of curves on the plane descartes earth-shattering work allowed for the conversion of geometry into algebra and vice versa with it a pair of equations could now be solved either geometrically or algebraically this allowed for the development of newton's and leibniz's discoveries of calculus later on it also gave us the possibility of working with geometries of higher dimensions impossible to visualize physically an idea which has become crucial to modern physics and technology, which changed mathematics forever. Descartes' Rule of Science Analytic geometry was far from Descartes' most crucial addition to mathematics. He also created a Rule of Science method for finding the number of positive or negative real roots of a polynomial, popularized a superscript notation for showing powers or exponents, for example 24 to show 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and reinvented Thabit Ibn Kora's formula for amicable numbers. Despite all his influence in the creation of modern mathematics, Descartes is best known today as a philosopher who advocated dualism and rationalism. His philosophy was made up of a method of doubting everything, then reforging knowledge from the ground up, and he's especially well known for the famous statement, cogito ergo sum, or I think, therefore I am. Descartes also played a role in the advance of modern physics, a role that's been generally underappreciated until very recently. He gave us the first modern system of laws of nature and the conservation principle of motion, made many advancements in optics and the study of refraction and reflection of light, and created the most popular theory of planetary motion of the late 1600s. 
his contributions to the scientific method was faced with heavy opposition by the Catholic officials of the time. His game-changing ideas made him a very controversial figure, and he died in Sweden in 1650, with many of his works being prohibited by the Catholic Church later on. It was only until relatively recently that his genius was truly known to the world. Without his contribution to mathematics, much of what we learn about algebra and geometry in Miss Clyde's class would be wildly different, and we wouldn't have as great of an understanding of such fascinating knowledge. We felt like diving into the history of math would give us a better understanding of how modern mathematics came to be, and also give us some insight to just what pre-calc might look like next year. History felt like it would be a fun thing to explore and research, and that it could be taught easily in a video. This project enhanced our understanding of how modern graphs on which we base much of our learning in Miss Glides came to be and how they are and were used in the world. Descartes in particular had a huge influence on math, which is one of the reasons why we chose him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, little bit you have understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We understood, sir. So let me tell something related to partition coordinates. For that, I would require graph. You are able to see this now? It's a graph. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we can see. This horizontal line is referred to as x-axis. This vertical line is referred to as y-axis. Y-axis. You can see some numbers are mentioned here. At the center, we have got zero. And if I mention this center with a point, you can see it's a point of intersection of x-axis and the y-axis. Suppose if I mention some other point somewhere here, if I just click on this, you can see it is referred to as two comma two. What does it mean? And if I mention some point over here, if I double five comma six, six comma five. What is this six comma five? What is this two comma two? What is this zero comma zero? Sir, x axis and y axis are the six it is formed. Sir, five centimeter from x axis and uh, five centimeter from the y axis. Y axis. If you count the blocks here, they are one, coordinates three, of that point. Five, six coordinate blocks. geometry. Sir, so the x axis is called axis and y axis is called coordinates, sir. Can I say that point C is at six units away from y axis and one, two, so three, I four, five, five units, units away from x axis? But why is it breaking? Yes, sir. Why is this breaking? Okay, is it clear now? Hello. So why is this breaking, sir? Why is this breaking? How about yes, now? Yes. Sometimes it will. Like, yes, it is clear now. So now it's clear. It is clear. It is clear. Problem audible now. This particular point, six comma five. Yes, sir. Yes, you are audible. Yeah, six comma five refers to. The point is at six units away from y axis and five units away from x axis. So when we mention the point yeah, C, yeah, yes, sir, your voice is breaking. Voice is breaking. Sir, your voice is breaking. Sir, sharing stopped. I am checking now.
sir we are not able to see your all right now no also not so clear sir in between sir now we uh, we can uh, see a screen and your audible little bit sir little bit yes, so in a plane if there your is audible. a point c 6 comma 5 it refers to this point c is at 6 units away or 6 cm away this is 5 cm away the point c is 6 cm away from y axis and 5 cm away from x axis this uh, axis is called as y y dash which is vertical line the horizontal line is x x dash so this point is at a distance 6 cm away from y axis and it is called as x coordinate 5 should come first sir i'll tell yes sir y is uh, y coordinate is x coordinate is 6 y coordinate is 5 and it is referred to as 6,5 6,4 Yes, sir. Six comma five. The reason five. why it is six comma five, it is six centimeter away from y axis and five centimeter away from x axis. Yes, axis. Hmm. If it is five comma six, it means that it is five centimeter away from y axis and six centimeter away from x axis. Somewhere here. is 5 cm this one will be 6 cm this is that point d 5 comma 6 this point o 0 comma 0 refers to it is at 0 units away from x axis and 0 units away from y axis that's called as point of intersection basically rin uh, discards he gave a cartesian coordinate system in which uh, the point of intersection the point of intersection uh, of both the axes is 0 comma 0 now i will be sharing you another screen sharing is proper sir you can see the screen here these are the axes yes sir yes sir if i extend i'll get some more points there clear so here zero yes. is not mentioned i can mention it here it is zero it's a point of intersection of x and y axis x and y usually we write x towards the positive numbers x dash towards the negative number negative number y towards the positive and y dash y dash negative towards the negative suppose if i consider all the numbers here we always get positive value of x and positive value of y in towards this side if i mention a point for here this is at two units away from that y axis and One unit away from. Sir, not edible. Why is it uh, breaking, sir? Sir, we can't hear voice properly. Okay, no. Hello, sir. Why is it not edible? Sir, your voice is breaking. Voice yes, sir. Breaking. Sir, your voice is breaking. Sir, your voice is breaking. It's not edible. Try to match with the. Uh, uh, what you are seeing, you just observe here. here we have all the negative values of x and positive values of y here we have negative values of both x and y here we will be having sir we can't hear your voice properly okay uh, 
Hello, sir. We can't hear you. Hello. So your voice is breaking. Am I audible now? No. No. No, sir. We can't hear properly now. Also. Look at this graph. If I mention a point, if I select a point here, this point will be at four units away from y axis and three units away from x axis. From x. So this point is four, comma three. Towards this side, whichever the points you consider, they all will be positive values of x and y. If you consider this, it is at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight comma five. Eight comma five. Five. So whichever the point you consider at this part, we always have positive values of x. And positive values of y, this part is called as first quadrant. Towards this side, whichever the points you select, this is minus two comma one. We have negative values of x, positive values of y, and this is called as second quadrant. And this part is called as a third quadrant. Here we'll be having negative values of x and negative values of y. This is fourth quadrant. Here we'll be having positive value of x and negative value of y. Whenever we plot the graph, we always take x with respect to y. So, for example, if we are asked to plot these points. Say four comma zero if you want to plot. This will be the point where it is four units away from y-axis and zero units away from x-axis. This point is point A. Point B is four comma two. This particular point is four comma two. The point four comma six is just above that. This is four comma three, four comma four, four comma five, four comma six. This point is four comma six, and point D is four comma two point five. It's the fifth line after two, somewhere here. Is four comma two point five. Suppose if I consider a line, the line will pass through all the four points. So this line is the solution for all questions on this line. This line is a 
had different solutions for the same 0, 4 point line zero, is not point the solution two. these yeah, points are the solution of the line yes, suppose uh, if yes, i consider yes. some other point on this particular line say this point this point is also solution of this particular line the reason is it will satisfy the equation yes, you must know that uh, 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. Suppose if this is the equation given, we can plot a graph, we get a straight line. Yes, when sir. We plot the graph, we always get a straight line. So, whichever yes, the points are there, they will all satisfy the equation if points are there on this line. That we will discuss a little later. Okay, sir. How to plot this 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 4 comma 4? How does it look like? Sir, 45 sir, degrees. No, it is square. a square. Square. Square, sir. Yes, square. Yes. They will uh, pass through a single line. Yes, sir. Yes. No, yes. It will pass through a single line, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. A slanting, line. A slanting, yes, line. A slanting line. Yes, sir. Slanting line. Yes, sir. Suppose if I make this as x and y axis. If I mention the points, say this is 0, 0, this is 1, 0, 0. 2, Two. 3. Say yeah, this is four minus one two. minus two. This is Ma minus four. minus four. Positive four. Minus four. So this Positive particular four. point is our P, which is one unit one comma one away from both x and y axis. One comma one. This point two comma yes, one comma is two, two comma two. Yes, sir. Then it is three comma three. When we plot uh, all the points, they all will pass four. through a single line. Yes, sir. Like a slanting line. Something like this here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Cross line going to the cross. It will pass through all the points. Yes, sir. Meeting all Somewhere the points. Here there will be three comma three. Four comma four. Last one. This is four comma four. P, Q, R, and S. Not only these points. If we have, it's not proper. Band. This has to pass through the origin. Yes, sir. Now it is possible. Zero, yeah. zero, not, zero. not only these points, if you consider the points here, they all will pass through the same line. But not in minus values. So all these points, these are all the solution of this line. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, suppose, yes. suppose if I have uh, x equal to y, this is an equation. That is x yes, minus sir. y yes. is equal to 0. If you consider 1 and 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. It satisfies the equation. 2 minus 2 also will be 0. 0. Likewise, any number minus that number will be equal to 0. Suppose yes, if sir. I consider yes, some point here, minus 1 comma minus 1, it satisfies the equation. Minus 2 comma minus, minus two, 2 also satisfy. Minus 1.5 comma minus 1.5 also satisfy the equation. Yes, sir. Minus 3. Understood. Sir, this Wait, graph shows direct proportion. The graph should? Direct proportion in the numbers, sir. In ordinate, there are direct proportion. Correct, sir. It's the last one. Right. You know equivalent fraction? Yes, sir. 2 by 3. 
for this equivalent fraction i can write it as 4 by 6 yes sir uh, the next equivalent fraction yes, i can write as uh, 6 by 9 by 9 yes 8 sir 8 by 12 yes sir Yes, sir. 10 by yes, sir. 30. Suppose you can write this numerator, this numerator as x-axis and the denominator as y-axis. Denominator as y-axis. I can plot the graph. How, do, how does the graph look like? I'll just show you. Let me insert vertical and horizontal line. See, this is vertical. See, this one is horizontal. Yes, sir. I'll be writing the points uh, very close to each other. You need not get confused. Here, somewhere, I'll write one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. Two was y-axis, positive y-axis. One, two, three, minus three, four, minus four, five, six, seven, eight. Two comma three for x value as two. Y value is 3. It is this point. 2 comma 3. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How should the next point is 4 comma 6. For 4, the value of Y is 6. Yes, sir. Value is 6. 4 comma 6. When we plot the graph, no? this particular graph will yeah, pass through point. the origin and it will pass through all these points. This is the type of graph you obtain. So yes, yes. here it will be 6, 9. Yeah, to 5, to 5. 6, 9. Further, somewhere here you will get 8, 5, 5. Well, sir, on this that? line we will get ah, equivalent yeah. fraction. Minus 2, minus 3 also is possible. Yes, sir, minus 1. For x is equal to minus 2, it will be minus 3. Yes, this sir. is the type of graph you obtain. You observe there is a single line. It's not a combination of different line segments. It's a smooth line. Linear graph. That type of graph is called as a linear graph. Yes, sir. So it's easy to yes, identify these points now. Yes, sir. 2, comma 3. Yes, sir. For x value 2, y value is 3. It is 2, comma 3. 5, comma 3 if you want. For x value is 2, y value is 3. So yes, 5, sir. 5, 5 comma 5. For x value 5, y value is 5. Somewhere here, 5 comma 5. 2 comma 5. When x value is 2, value of y is 5. 2 comma 5. If you join all these points, no? you will not get a linear graph. You will get a figure. What type of figure is this? Rectangle, rectangle, sir. Rectangle. Sir. Rectangle. So a rectangle. rectangle is obtained here. Yes, sir. Here because, you get uh, line passing through origin. This is the type of graph you obtain. Yes. You just see this question. Draw the line passing through 2, comma 3 and 3, comma 2. Find the coordinates of the points which this line meets x axis and y axis. So, first we have to identify uh, where this 2, 3 and 3, 2 lies. For that, what I do is I want to bring the graph. 
Yes, sir. They are the positive values. Since they are the positive values, so I would be requiring only the first quadrant. Positive. Only the first positive. quadrant is enough, yes. isn't it? Because yes, value of x and y, they are the positive things. Yes, so sir. I will bring this graph over here. Okay, sir. Visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Certain yes, sir. things I have to make, like I need Two, to two, mention three. this as a line. That's one of the important thing. Where does uh, this 2 comma 3 lie? Where x is equal to 2, the value of y is 3. It's this point. Yes, sir. Yes, it's sir. 2 comma it 3. Is, uh, How about 3 comma 2? For x value as 3, the value of y is 2. This is the two. point 3 comma 2. two. Now, as yes, we should draw a line. We have to draw a line passing through these two points. So let us yes. draw a line passing through these two points. I'll bring it. It passes through the points now. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. X, 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 and Y axis are meeting now we at, need to uh, identify where per this particular uh, line meets X axis and Y axis. Phi and Phi, sir. Phi and Phi. 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 Sir, Phi. 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 meet infinitely many Phi. times on this line, no, sir. How to coordinate, sir? Meet you have to go point. as per the given question. In the point. question, they have mentioned where it cuts x axis and y axis. If I uh, consider x axis, it touches the x axis at That's this right. point. It is 5, comma 0. So, like uh, finding zeros of the line. Uh, finding zeros of the line, correct. Or finding solutions. It is these points. Okay. On x axis, It cuts so at y axis. 5, 0. On y axis, it cuts at 5, 0. 0, 0, 5. 5, sir. 0, 5. X value is 0, the value of y is 5. It's like that. Yes. Understood? Eh? Yes, sir. Yes, but, sir, it means many times. But sir, so, yes, sir. Abhinav's doubt is there are so many points on this line, but we are not interested in all the points. We are interested in where particularly it is meeting at x-axis and y-axis. On the y-axis, okay. 0,5. On the x-axis, 5,0. Undoubtedly, there are so many points. Not only these points. This point is also there. This point is also there. Infinitely many points are there. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, this is a simple question. They have only given the graph here. We need to identify the vertices of these figures. Uh, A, B, C, P, Q, R, S, K, L, M. Those coordinates we need to write. It won't be that difficult. Let's yes, sir. Start with the coordinate A. This is 2, 0. 2, 0. 0. Is 2, the value of y is 0. For B, yes, sir, yes. it is 2, 3. 2, 3. 2, 3. For C, it is 0, 3. 0, 3. How about PQRS? For P, 4, 4, 3. 3. 3. Q, 6 comma 1. 6 comma 1. Very good. R? How should I? Um, 6 comma 5. 5. 5. 5. 6 comma 5. 5. Yes. 4 comma 7. 4 comma 7. Yes, Uday has a doubt. How they are telling, sir? That's your doubt? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Suppose if K is considered, you have to look at this point K. 
it is a 10 units no away from uh, yes, y axis so that is its yes, its coordinate 10, 10 comma 10 comma 5 it is uh, 5 units away five. from y axis so 10 comma 5 yes, it's like five. that yes how about yes, yes, seven comma seven 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 yum ten comma eight so very simple yes sir ten comma last eight. question of this exercise uh state true or false correct the false one a point whose x coordinate is zero and y coordinate is non-zero will lie on the y axis true sir a point true, sir. Whose true, sir. Is zero. true sir. Do is I will bring a graph here so that you will understand it better. The x coordinate is zero, y coordinate is non zero will lie on y axis. True, sir. Suppose if I consider a point here yeah. which is zero comma zero, this point is zero comma one. This point zero. is 0, 0, 0, 3. 3. 0, 3. This is 0, 6. You observe 6. all its x coordinate is 0. And if y coordinate is non zero, if I if I don't consider this 1, 3, 6, if I consider, this will clearly a line passing through line on y axis. So it is y axis. So this statement yes, is sir. true. Statement is true. How so about it may lie on the y dash axis now also, also no, sir. Ah, it can be on y dash also. In general, they have given y axis, it refers to y yes. dash. Yes. This is y axis. A point whose y coordinate is 0 and x coordinate is 5 will lie on y axis. Y coordinate false is zero. Sir. False. 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 Y axis, this point. It is the x axis. It is on the x axis. So the given statement is false. The coordinates of the origin are zero comma zero. True sir. True sir. True sir. This is called true. as origin zero comma zero. True sir. True true. The this statement true. is true. Yes sir. Zero comma zero. Okay, sir. Now we have exercise questions wherein we have to plot the graph. 15.3. Okay, we shall do it uh, one by one in the next class. Yes, sir. Uh, can you Thank please you, teach us how to uh, point the equations in the graph, sir? Okay, yes, sir. No problem. Yes, sir. In class 9th, it is there. However, I tell it. Not yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Bye, Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir.